So we have Crimson that just recently got into World 5, and now he needs some help chaining into World 5 progression. Overall, it's a general account progression, but mainly, he just needs help pushing through World 5. So as always, let's take a look at the player count. First, we have uh, 111, Crimson, Blood Berserker, Hugo Mungus, 112, Bubonic Conjurer, Free Willy U, <laughs> 111, Siege Breaker. We have Dedidated Wham, a classic, 109 Divide Knight, Fat Joe 5000 with 175 Elemental Sorcerer, Free Bird on Loop with a 111 Beastmaster, Nutrition is Nuts, all right, 11 of 111. And then we have Arnold, <laughs> bro, what are these names? Okay, we have Gradius Wizard with a 109 Elemental, <laughs> Elemental Sorcerer, and then we have a level 77 Barbarian Fat Stick, Go Bonk. Absolutely fantastic. So let's take a quick look at his equipment here. So far, he's doing pretty good. He's got mostly iron tools, I would say. Some of his other characters still need a little bit of love. Uh, he's running iron rings, so he should definitely start swapping the rest into serrated rings. So right off the get-go. Iron tools, of course, with serrated rex rings. Oh my gosh. He's still running full carrot horrors. I mean, at this point, you should probably uh, farm out to level, I would say, 100 to 120 on all characters. Then get your cheese or scarfs. It's about that time. Farming them all out won't take so time. You're running Dementia, which is fantastic. Dementia, 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 Dementia. Void. I mean, your, 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 your armor progression is fantastic. You're doing good on your tools. Everything seems pretty good, other than there's a couple of serrated Rex rings that you need to swap over and get the rest done. And, you know, tier 5 stone them, because they're nice and super strong. So, let's take a quick look. How's your skills? So it looks so far like your divinity and your lab are slacking greatly. So here, here's what I would strongly suggest. Put all characters on divinity. Other than your main pusher. To unlock goat god. And get level 40 divinity. Now, the reason why you want level 40 Divinity is simply for one thing and one thing only. It unlocks a thing called Tranqui, which means you can gain Divinity XP without requiring to be on Divinity. So this just overall helps push that. And also unlocking the Goat God will help you level up because my biggest problem I see is you need your lab and your Divinity grind done. So with that, you need to run Goat God on all your characters except for your main pusher, whoever you're doing it, for that reason, because I, you still want to play the game realistically, right? So if you have them on Goat God, then you put everybody in lab, and they'll be farming Divinity and lab at the same time, so you can easily get that going. So sooner the better to get those leveled up. You're, you're, you're golden at that point. And like I said, what are you at for Divinity? Okay, so, I mean, you're almost there. You're literally almost at Goat God. You're actually so close to being there. So just a little bit longer, get that Goat God, and you'll be cruising. Be able to knock out two birds with one stone. Seems like all your alignments, you're all running Chakra. But yeah, the Divinity grind is definitely a little bit of a grind, but definitely something that you want to do. Cooking. So you got Cabbage there. You got Meal Speed going on. That's good. That's good. To Diamond is 6. 16. So what I would suggest to do, let me take a look. Let's see your alchemy. Okay, so. Put all characters on Yellow Cauldron. Get Diamond Chef ASAP. This is your next big snowball. This is, this is a huge snowball for you. You're pretty much ready to go. Because as you can see right here, you need six more ladles, which is approximately eight hours and 40 minutes if you don't use ladles to get diamond, which is another diamond plate. Same with here. You need about 24 hours, aka a full day, to get diamond on this. So then you could start knocking out Diamond Chef as sooner than later. So definitely want to start getting, getting all early plates to level 11 for Diamond Chef cooking speed. 
And you also do have a couple of beach dock splices, which is absolutely fantastic. That will also feed into that once you use up a couple of bargain tags. So that'll definitely help up greatly to help boost that up even more. And that will be your next big snowball. And then once you're done that, you can start working towards your way to get kill per kill. This will help you just with overall character progression and, you know, getting stuff like Zhao's, Chow's, etc., etc., Death Note, stuff like that. How's your vials looking? Vials overall are looking pretty good for the most part. Of course, there's some of them that aren't level 4 yet. That's to be expected, but you are doing the level 4, which is very, very good. You obviously have a couple more vials you need to unlock, which is perfectly fine because you're just entering World 5. So all, all in all, I commend you. You are working on your bubbles. That's good. Keep on working at them. I would say if you can do it, I would suggest get a all world one to world three bubbles to a baseline of 60. Level 60 across the board. You want to get them to level 60 for world one to three. You want to know which ones are get entering world four? It's once you start entering here. The Penny of Strength, the Dollar of Agility, Nickel of Wisdom, and Mr. Massacre are all level 4 bubbles. So we're, so everything before that, baseline level 60 across the board. Are you, you're not, are you leveling, wait, are you leveling up your sigils? If you're leveling, if you're leveling up your sigils, do not level up your sigils right now. That is a late game. And I would, I would suggest boosting your cauldrons. So right now, I would say when it comes to cauldron boosting, I would say cauldron boosting for each one, 50 on each. If you can get 50 boost, 50 boost levels on each one of those four, that's going to be ideal. How's your stamps looking? So this is approximately same kind of deal. There's a lot of them that yeah, you can get pretty easily. You haven't done your seven figure. Okay, so I would suggest also unlocking more stamps. Unlocking more stamps. Start thinking about doing seven million figure follow request. Yes, max boost for cauldrons is 170. And then, you know, once you start getting that going with your seven million figure follow request, get those stamps unlocked. I would say you want a baseline stamp level. 3,000. 3,000. Not 3,000K, that's too much. 3,000 for a baseline stamp level. This is going to make your life easier. But with you, it's a little bit different. I would prioritize skilling over combat at this point in time. Because you, you, you you're you good enough to get into World 5, so that means you're good enough to start getting some boosts. You're going to get mecha boosts in World 5 due to sailing. So you don't need... You don't need to work so hard on combat, but now you need to start hard focusing on skilling. Because realistically, this is where you're going to start working on 3D prints. This is where you're going to start working on getting your, your, all your boosts going. Keys award, keys per day. Finish your boss key quest line. So it shows here that you have nine keys done for Chizor, but you only have seven keys done for Efont, and you have 10 keys for Forest Villa. You want to make sure that you finish off that quest line because that's very important. You want to get your daily keys, especially since you're going to be on the Chizor scarf farm. So getting that one extra key a day actually is huge, super massive. Okay. Now, probably at this point as well, you need to start working on your anvil. So what I would suggest is while you're at it, get anvil, mob mats, upgrades, up to world three, and put it all into speed. You want all of your all of your anvil into speed, a hundred percent. This will be super great for you. You know, getting getting those anvil materials done because you're going to probably want to start farming as soon as possible. Your crystal spawn chance which requires a lot of boring bricks. So the faster you get the speed up, the better. Right now you're all producing thread. You got a little bit of everything going on here. All right, you got, you got, you got a little bit of everything. So let's take a look here. How's your dungeons looking?
So I noticed that you bought some tenacity rings. Now, tenacity rings are good, but I strongly do not suggest to farm them out yet. Because you do not have maxed out on your Falerbo shop. So what I would strongly suggest is take the time, max out defense, max out accuracy, talent points, get all of those done, AFK gains, as soon as possible. You have 52 boosted runs, so you probably have enough for a few more upgrades. This is going to overall be very important for you, because maxed out Flurbo Shop, once you have it done, that's when you can start farming out Tenacity Rings. That's when you can start farming out your Emperor Opals. That's when you can start getting your Best in Slot Rings, and not to mention your Persephone's Bouquet for the 15% skill AFK gains, which realistically you only need one at the start. So get, definitely get that done sooner than later. How's your sailing looking? Okay, so you got Moa, you got Ancient Cat, Ancient Cube, Ancient Fox or Tusk. I mean, you got, you know, you got some stuff going on here, which is definitely, definitely decent. Definitely not wrong at all. I would, I would suggest getting Genie Lamp to Ancient just to help that boost that loot value a little bit. Just a little bit. And then Gold Relic doesn't hurt, but yeah, definitely keep on pushing. I mean, you're looking pretty good here. You're going to see a huge increase. Uh, once you start hitting like AD Tablet, Triangulon, Amberite, those are going to be pretty big ones. I mean, I noticed you skip this one, but I strongly suggest not to skip Silver Ankh because this also gives you a box that just helps anything from Divinity, Sailing, and Gaming. And if I remember correctly, the Gaming and the Sailing box both give you 15% damage. So that's some free damage right there. Boats are looking all right. I mean, you're just saving up for some money. Gaming. I mean, gaming is to be expected. Nothing crazy. How's your lab? So you're looking for some jewels. Okay. Okay, so you do got these going on. That's not bad. But this will become much, much easier. So much easier once you roll out and being able to put everything on lab. But you'll get that once you get goat, uh, once you get goat god. As your worship, chat, take notes. Take notes. This is a legend that actually cares about worship. He is literally the freaking 10% of the player base because he actually gives a shit about skulls. This right here, this is what you should be doing. This is 100% what you should be doing. This is very important. He's got that going. Absolutely fantastic. Max waves are looking all good. I mean, you could eventually get those up eventually. His so worship's looking amazing. As the 3D prints. Okay, so you got some stuff going for refinery prints. That looks like you got that. I'm taking a guess you have sand castles for big meaty claws. So that's good. I mean, you got... I mean, I would suggest getting some prints going for Shakrasy and FMJ. Uh, but I mean, I mean, that means you need a bloach print. And that also means you need, which you have a bloach print right here. And you're also going to need another print, uh, which would be also uh, fruit flies, which you have one right here. So perfect. Death Note. I mean, if you, if you want to take the time, since you're in World 5 now, you can start stacking skulls. So, I mean, you can at least get a minimum of platinum at that point. You know, while you're doing the platinum skulls, I mean, you could be easily farming Blood Berserker to get not only his Zows, but his Chows done. Uh, so that way you're going to be able to rock it. But I mean, you can hold off on that until you get Killer Massacre. Just makes things a little bit easier. Keep on farming out your Death Note as well. That's going to be very important for you. Almost level 5 Automation Arm. Fantastic. You love to see that. You're leveling up your Boulder Roller. I would, I would stop leveling up Boulder Roller completely and start hard focusing on Poisonic Elder if you can. Because Poisonic Elder at like max level Boulder Roller at level 50 is probably equivalent to a level 11 Poisonic Elder. So getting Poisonic Elder higher up is going to be way better for you. Definitely start working on Kraken Cosplayer as well. And Frozen Balloon. All those are super huge. And Party Starter is one of the biggest buffs in tower defense by a huge margin. And the faster that you can get Voidinator, the happier you'll be. And I mean, you probably, if I'm taking a guess, you don't have Void Salts, which is understandable. So overall, this is looking pretty good. Multi-kill for all worlds. Leveling that up if you can. That'd be fantastic. Getting this up there absolutely is a must. Same with uh, another one is starting to work on your max level books. I see you're already doing that. That's fantastic. Keep on working on that. You want to get as max books as possible. As soon as possible. So, and then how's your statues? I mean, your statues are to be, ex to be expected. Chows and Zows. See, this is what I mean with the Chows and Zows. You want to start farming these out as soon as. Get these all done. These are all super important. 
And it seems, and also get get your last barbarian. It's elite class. I would say the last barbarian elite class. Okay, so that this should give you more than enough time to work on. So Crimson, this is what I suggest for you here. Iron tools for serrated Rex ring for the rest of your characters, so they all get some love. Tier five, tier five uh, upgrade stones. Just make it nice and huge. Just get you started. Some free stat sticks. Get to level 100 to 120 on all characters and then start working on your cheese or scarves for your best in slot combat necklace. Put all characters in divinity other than your main pusher to unlock goat god and get level 40 divinity. Put all characters on yellow cauldron. Get diamond chef ASAP. Getting all early plates to level 11 for diamond chef cooking speed and all world 1 to world 3 bubbles to a baseline of level 60. Cauldron boosting on each, you want to get them to 50 each, that's 50 luck, 50 speed, 50 blah 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 blah, etc, etc. Unlock more star ups and then start thinking about doing the 7 million figure follower quest on one character, just so you get that huge boost of damage and gold food effect. Baseline stamp level should be about 3,000. You want to start prioritizing skilling stamps over combat stamps. Finish your boss key quest line, get ample mob mats upgrades up to world 3. Max out Flurbo passive cards and get your Barbarian Elite class. And if I saw this correctly, you are running Royal Sampler Prayer. Fantastic. Also, with another thing before we finish off here, work on your big bubbles like your Sploosh Sploosh, Wyoming Blood, Multi Logo, and Bug Squared. Just to give you some multi, multi resource chance just to help to make your 3D prints a little bit bigger. But that right there is approximately about two months of work. So good luck. Good luck, and we'll see you there.